We're less than six months away from the NBA draft, and here's what you need to know. This continues to be the race for Wemby, and Victor Wembayama is who I mean by that. The seven foot four international sensation who some people have said has the defensive ability of Rudy Gobert and the offensive ability of Kevin Durant. Obviously, that's a little bit of hyperbole, but he has lived up to all of those expectations so far this season. Uh, began with a October trip to Las Vegas to square off against Scoot Henderson in the G League Ignite. It has uh, returned to France where he has played and just been sensational combining the defensive impact, the massive size, the massive length, the offensive uh, skill set, and the creativity with which he's showing. And it's why absolutely everyone is uh, racing for Wemby in that top spot in the draft. Now, number two is widely perceived to be Scoot Henderson at this point because we are still uh, five plus months away from the draft. It, it is not yet a foregone conclusion, but it would take something very unexpected to knock him from that spot. We are talking about a player who's in his second year with G League Ignite, who is an attacking, explosive, athletic lead guard, very much in the mold of players we've seen, like the Russell Westbrooks, Derek Roses of the world. Um, if anyone can challenge him, it may be a Men Thompson from Overtime Elite, another absolutely explosive athlete who I think, depending on how the lottery shakes out, who we'll see who gets the second pick, but that could dictate um, certainly how teams value uh, the, the second prospect in the draft. I think, though, right now it's safe to say Wemby and Scoot, very solid as the top two picks. After that, some guys who are emerging. You know, it's been an interesting freshman class where we've got um, players who finished the top last year's rankings. Nick Smith has battled injuries all season long. He's right now shut down indefinitely. Derek Lively has missed the first part of the season with injury. He has yet to regain the form we expected. Derek Whitehead, similar story. Broke that foot um, in the fall, missed the beginning part of the season, and is not yet at the form that we expected. So with three of the top prospects from last year's high school class really bottled by in, bothered by injuries who's emerged, it's been guys like uh, different players, but certainly Anthony Black from Arkansas. He has really stepped up and proven himself to be a big point guard. I mean, six foot seven, the playmaking, the rate of improvement has been uh, just really tantalizing. Then you got Brandon Miller at Alabama, who was a prospect who was always pretty high on the radar throughout high school. But ironically, he was someone whose potential exceeded his production. Now that is really flipped this year at Alabama because he's probably the most productive uh, freshman in the country, at least relative to the five-star prospects. Cam Whitmore, yet another uh, prospect who started on the the injured list to start the season, but he's really shown some signs since returning. I mean, if if force equals mass times acceleration, then that may be the new uh, calling card for Cam Whitmore because his combination of power and athleticism is really second to none. So he is another prospect really starting to climb the ladder in terms of NBA prospectus. Uh, after that, there have been a handful of other freshmen who have emerged. Three to keep an eye on, Jet Howard at Michigan. Uh, came into this year not really considered to be a one and done, but now he's got lottery buzz. Noah Clowney, another Alabama freshman, similar story. He was a top 100 prospect, but really didn't have any one and done buzz. Now he's really in that first round conversation. Taylor Hendricks at UCF, not quite at the same level of those two freshmen, but certainly another surprise in the national freshman class. That's a quick rundown of where we stand. The NBA draft is less than six months away. Thank <laughs> you.